right, it's lockdown number five here from the Philippines. And I must say, it's good to know that the park is open, that you can get outside, sit in the breeze, and sit in the shade, uh, sit in the sun, get a little exercise in. It's quiet. The implementation of lockdown number five just astonishingly bad. <laughs> I don't know what else to say it. I mean, they're saying that there's a, a strict requirement to get into the malls in order to do your shopping. Because pretty much every market here in BGC is in a mall. So you can't just like go to like uh, Acme. You gotta go into a mall to get to the market. And they won't let you in the mall unless you have what they call a quarantine pass. Show me your papers. And if you don't have your papers, well, they don't let you in the mall, but they don't provide you papers. So there's, there's no way to get papers. You have to wait for them to bring you papers. So two or three days into the lockdown, no papers, right? No shopping. That's pretty bad. Well, that's nice. Wonder how that happened. So a lot of times during lockdown, this this street is completely empty, and it's a great shot for photographs of the cityscape. Uh, it's just an empty thoroughfare, no cars, no traffic, no nothing, and you're metropolis looking building Let's see if I can see the suntan marks on here. What? So you know I can see your suntan marks. I've just recently had a most wonderful appreciation that brown is beautiful. Miss Divine came back from the the deep reaches of Visayas, one of the hidden islands in the Philippines. Hayden. Oh, the Hayden Islands, I forgot. And she looks just so much more brown than I ever thought possible, and, and it's so beautiful. Brown is beautiful. <gasps> Notice her face mask? She made that from one of my bandanas. I asked her to make me one <clears throat> because that cloth is just so thin and much more comfortable when it just kind of hangs loose on your face like that. And surprisingly enough, for a virus <clears throat> deadly enough to shut down the entire world, <laughs> that's perfectly fine. You can just throw a bandana on like fucking Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid getting ready to rob your stagecoach, and that's perfectly fine to protect you against such a deadly, right, flu. Now, if there was an actual pandemic out there, something like, um, ooh, what do they call that? Oh yeah, tuberculosis, right? Yeah, I would not trust that to keep me safe from tuberculosis. But for some reason, it's perfectly fine for the flu. I, I mean, not that science would support that, but we don't talk about science on this channel. Nobody watches Travel and Lifestyle channel for science. So, so she's making me a mask. That, that's great to wear out when it's hot. It's great to wear out when it's rainy. It's just loose and hangs there. You know, doesn't offer you any protection any more than this. But it also doesn't obstruct your breathing, which is important. Where are you going? So these places are all closed. I have belly. Oh. I have belly flats now. You think so, huh? Yeah. I'll take it any day. Oh my goodness, push that belly out so far. It's like, it's crazy. I'll tell you, like, if I was fat, I would not be wearing low shorts and tank tops. Uh, you know what, I don't wear low shorts and tank tops anyway. You know, I've, I've been filming BGC for a couple of weeks. I even did a walk around, kind of like this is. This is the unofficial ECQ, right? Or just lockdown. 
uh, walk around. And people were commenting on how quiet the city was, how empty and deserted the city seemed. It's very apparent now. You said you want to go up to uh, Margaret Market? So now we're going to walk up High Street, which is kind of empty. <clears throat> so you're basically allowed outside to exercise, but only one member of your household is allowed outside to go shopping. And, and in order to do that, obviously you need a uh, quarantine pass, right? Or your papers, if we want to equate this to the Gestapo. All right, I mean, really, where else, you know? When we go to Market Market, close up and play with me. Okay, so she's saying. Okay, we're gonna try to get into market market with no gate pass. No, but we go separately. But I, I have to go separately. We can't go together. This was packed just 10 days ago. I came down here at night one night, even though it was a little rainy, it was the first night they announced GCQ, just plain old GCQ for all of Manila, which was a fantastic thing, right? All restaurants are open, 50% seating capacity indoors and outdoors. Um, theoretically, you were allowed to travel between any GCQ areas with no paperwork or requirements or anything. So if Manila's GCQ and Batangas is GCQ, you can just go. And it was GCQ for about three days. And then the uh, lockstep narrative kicked in. No, but a lot of these places are, are still open for uh, takeout. And the cakes are drawing her in. The cakes drawing her in, oh my goodness. You know, for lockdown, lockdown, this does not seem like the right, brightest implementation of what they call social distancing rules. Not that social distancing is effective in any way, shape, or form. Fantastic study done by one of the premier universities in the U.S. that shows the actual science of that. If you're interested in science, but I know you're probably not watching this channel for science, so I, I try to not talk about it so much. But I'll put the link down below if you want. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to see people out and commerce and all that good stuff. I mean, not here. I mean, they gotta stimulate their economy and uh, they're all restaurants though, they're all takeout. Yeah, it doesn't seem to follow any real logic or rule set. be a good place to shop for snacks because a lot of the snacks are, are natural they come from these different regions of the Philippines I mean a lot of them are very bad for you and filled with MSG but you know, it takes all kinds right A 
Although I have to say, some of the best honey. Uh, I don't think I have any change, man. These are the only brooms that they have in the Philippines. Point, I think we're just walking around to be outside because uh, you have to spend so much time indoors during the lockdown period. Even here, the flies are maddening. There used to be hundreds of thousands of butterflies in BGC. Well, BGC used to be just like planes, they said, you know, just uh, open fields and that kind of stuff. But so the other thing you're going to get now that lockdown's back is that, right? You're just going to get kids that are hurting they have families that can't do anything for them and they literally just sit out here on the street and uh, panhandle and um, you never used to have to carry food in BGC like I carry little packets of sky flakes and stuff when I lived in Makati to give out to people that were begging because you don't want to give them money but now that things have just been so horrible so desperate and there's little girls, little children sitting out on the street. I, I'm just giving them money. Um, I don't want to see that. And uh, I don't know, there's nothing I can do about it except try to help them out a little bit, right? Fucking crying shame. There was a massive explosion. It, it rocked the building and now for like the last 10 minutes every siren fire truck police vehicle <laughs> has just been heading over here Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more content from the fabulous Philippines.